What's good, Commanders family? Brian Cobble Jr. here of day one of training camp. And I got our lead back, Brian Robinson Jr. here, man. How you feeling, brother? Good, man. Good, man. It's good to have you. It was crazy, man, because my first day at the job here last year, I sat down with you and we did an interview, man. But I, you're in a very different spot now than you were back then, man. So, right. so how's it feel, man, year three, coming out here on this field? I mean, it feel great, man. Uh, as everybody know, over the offseason, all the changes happen. Yeah. Um, just know, like, you know, it's impacted everyone, including myself, you know, around this building, you know, tremendously. You know, um, the energy is exciting, you know, extremely excited about the new staff and, you know, the new players and all the newcomers to just come and just help us, you know, be a better team. So, yeah. you know, it's a lot to be excited for, you know. You know, as a player and, you know, for the fans, you know, just ready for all the, you know, for, come full circle. Yeah, you talk about that new energy, man. How has that impacted the players within the locker room? Uh, I think people just, you know, have a, a brighter energy about themselves and just willingness to just, you know, come here and, you know, be a pro every day, you know, do their jobs, you know, effectively and, uh, you know, try to impact the team, you know, the best way they can, you know, and, um, you know, just try to get better every day. You know, I feel like, you know, overall the team has, you know, bought in to, um, you know, what we're trying to build here and, you know, guys come in, you know, with that mindset, like, you know, we're just going to come in, we're going to grind, we're going to work, you know. You know, obviously, we, you know, we're trying to win some games this year. Yeah, for sure. And then you got Dan Quinn. He's a big part of setting that tone, man. What have those conversations been like with your new head coach? Because on our end, when we talked to Quinn, he's been very, very excited about getting to coach you. Right. He, um, he's been very open, blunt. You know, uh, he's been real with me. You know, um, you know, I appreciate that. You know, the conversation we had, you know, it's genuine. You know, I can tell, you know, he wants he wants the best for me. You know, he wants me to, you know, be my best. And I feel like, you know, he'll do everything in his power to, you know, make sure that, you know, I'm getting the production that I need. And, and that falls under Cliff Kingsbury as well. Cliff Kingsbury is known for the type of offenses he runs, man, and the way that he gets the most out of not only quarterbacks, but running backs too, man. I see you start to smile yeah, a little when we talk I mean, about uh, him. Cliff, Cliff, you know, he has great energy, you yeah. know, as an offense coordinator. He's very personable, you know. You know, uh, I think he's a, you know, a great players coach, you know, somebody you can, you know, just rap with, you know, just come and, you know, chop it up with, you know, tell him, you know, how you feel about, you know, what you see and your ideas and um, your thoughts. And, you know, he's going to, you know, he's gonna he's gonna listen to you and he's gonna he's gonna talk to you and he's gonna be genuine with you. So uh, you know, I just I appreciate the relationship that, you know, we all are building, you know, and uh you know, it's just gonna get better and better. And and when we talked last season, you talked about how last season for you was a proven year because rookie season didn't go the way I think any of us planned, right? You had yeah. some trials and tribulations. Now we're in year three. What year is it for you now after the year you had last year? Uh I still gotta prove it, man. Yeah. Every year I feel like you gotta prove it. You know, if it's you know taking a, you know another step in your game, you know, just you just gotta prove it. You know, over and over again. You know, so uh, I just want to continue to show people, you know, what I'm capable of doing. You know, all around. You know, as a all-purpose back. You know, uh, I was able to show, you know, you know some catches and you know hands last year. I feel like that's going to continue to just, you know, keep going up. You know. You know, the carries, the, the yards, the, the catches, the touchdowns. I feel like everything just going to continue to, you know, take that next step, you know, overall. Man, as you, as you move on through your career, man, the years go by. You're becoming a veteran. You're not the, you're not the young yeah. boy no more, man. Yeah, so no so more. how has that adjustment been for you? Because we have a rookie quarterback. We have a rookie receiver. We right. have some rookie linemen. What has it been like being B-Rob, the leader and the vet? Yeah, like you said, you use the word uh, leader. You yeah. know, I just really had to step into my shoes and, you know, be the leader that I am and, you know, allow people to follow me and, you know, you know, be a great example to, you know, everyone around me, especially, you know, the you know, the, the rookies. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, just just be the best example I can, you know, you know, all the time, you know, on the field and off the field, you know, that so those guys can, you know, listen to me and, you know, yeah. take my advice uh when I, you know, try to help them, you know. Because you know it's gonna get hard. It's gonna get it's gonna get rough. You're, you're gonna feel like you're back against the wall. Yeah. You know you're gonna you're gonna need you know a veteran leader. You know you know to, to lean on and talk to and you know somebody you can trust. You talk about that veteran leader. Well, you got a you got a mean one right next to you in Austin Eckler, man. He's he's played a lot of ball and we talked to him mm -hmm. and he was so excited about getting to pair up with you. Mm -hmm. He talked about those two headed monsters mm -hmm. we've seen. He said y'all could be one of the best NFL tandems that we've seen mm -hmm. out of a backfield, man. How cool is that to have an OG like that? in the game, a pro bowler, talk about you like that and you're only in year three. Man, uh, 
It's extremely dope, man. Austin has, you know, he had great energy since he's got here. You yeah. know, we've been building a great, you know, relationship as a tandem. And I feel like, you know, it's just going to get stronger and stronger the more that, you know, we we know how to complement each other well and know, you know what we're best, we're both best at and know how we can help, like, help maximize each other's potential. I feel like, you know, we're just going to continue to get stronger and stronger and we will be the best tandem in this league. Man, I believe that, yeah. man. I believe that. And then, of course, you know, I got to ask you about Jaden Dance, man. Yeah. You know, you've seen a few quarterbacks while you've been here. Jaden, it seems like the energy around him is different, man. Talk about Jaden a little bit and what you've seen from the young QB. Man, you can tell he's a winner. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, you tell he, 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 he wants to win. He's a winner at heart, you know. Uh, like yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Man. You know, those type of guys I, I love to be around, the type of guys I love to work with. You know, I feel like he, he'll have no problem fitting right in, you know, uh, and doing everything, you know, we need him to do or he need to do for himself just to be the best player he want to be in his league. Yeah. You know, I have no doubt that he's going to take, you know, all the steps, you know, ahead of him, you know, um, and, and do everything that he's supposed to do, you know, to be the best player he can. I guess for sure. Fans are excited to see Jaden, but I know fans are excited to see you, B-Rob, man. Sure. Before we let you go, fans, coaches, media, we all have expectations for players. Mm. What are your expectations for yourself for this season? That's a hard question because I never, I never like to put limitations on, on mm. myself. So I don't want to say, oh, I want to, uh, I expect to run for 1,200 yards or uh, catch for 10 touchdowns. I expect to be the best back in this league. Yeah. I, I expect to, you know, be in a pro ball. I expect to be all pro. I expect to I do all those things, you know, so uh, nothing less than 1,000 yards yeah. on the ground, <laughs> you know, <laughs> 10 plus, you know, in the uh, end zone. Yeah. Just, and more and more, you know, like I said, I'm not putting limitations on things that I know I can do. Hey, well, B-Rod, I think we all know that you're capable of that, man. We can't wait to see what you do this year. Brother, appreciate you taking time sure. with us, man. Day right. one of training camp. Brian Cole right. Jr. here with our running back, Brian Robson.